So this is how I plan my garden for the entire season from February to November using the planter app. First, I make a really big border, just a really big space. I've got six raised beds in my garden, four, an herb bed, and a potato bed. Now, this left side here, these are going to be my spring planted crops. I've got onions, the garlic that's already in my garden bed, the strawberries that are already in my garden bed, and then the things that I'm going to plant in the next couple of weeks. Straight down the middle, these are gonna be my summer planted crops. I'm going to have a three sisters bed. My strawberries are gonna remain all throughout the year. I'm going to add beans after my garlic comes out. And then in this garlic bed, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a bunch of beans, bush beans, um, all sorts of green beans and shelling beans. Up here, I've got a lot of random fruits. Um, this is the bed that I'm just gonna try some things with. But all of these are going to be very heavy feeders, so I'm going to immediately follow them with beans because I want to put those nutrients back in the soil. Also, I feel like beans are a plant that you can grow and you are going to get a big harvest and it's going to be just gonna be a, a big confidence booster. So lots of beans. Now, this last line is going to be my fall planted crops. Beans, lots of cabbage, and I am putting that garlic right back in the garden because we eat a ton of garlic in my house. Now this herb bed down here, um, it's basically gonna be the same. All of these are perennials, so they just grow and do their thing um, with the exception of maybe basil. Um, they just thrive, so I leave this one alone. And then over here for my potatoes, right now I have it set as just potatoes. When the potatoes come out, I'm gonna turn it into a flower garden, so I'm gonna plant my zinnias in there, my garlic and or my ginger and my turmeric are gonna be in this bed, lots of calendula. Um, so this bed, once those potatoes coming out, it's gonna be all flowers, it's going to be butterfly haven, I am going to enjoy that space. And that's how I plan my raised beds using the planter app. And if you want to know how I use the app to plan my green start garden, go ahead and let me know in the comments and follow along.